when many car owners drag out their extension cords to plug in their vehicles against the cold. But for owners of electric vehicles in Regina, plugging in their cars is a year-round occurrence. But finding the right outlet can be a challenge. Colton Weems now with the Catch-22 situation when it comes to owning an electric car in Saskatchewan. As we settle into winter here in Saskatchewan, many drivers are plugging in their vehicles overnight. But a small few have been plugging in their vehicles the trend catches on. Finding a way to get the province to make changes is the challenge. So I think the government should definitely oh, no, make like, that decision be, be, made be, up there can go and uh, look at uh, reinstating rebates for uh, cleaner burning vehicles, including uh, electric bicycles even. Currently, Ontario, Quebec, and British oh, Columbia are the only provinces offering rebates for electric vehicle purchases. According to FleetKarma.com, electric vehicles make up 8.3% of new passenger cars being purchased in Canada. In the prairie, Distance is an issue. The Tesla Model 3 long range version can reach 499 kilometers. In winter, Klein's Nissan Leaf can only go about 80 kilometers instead of the 120 it can do in the summer. He says more charging infrastructure would be greatly appreciated by owners, and charging takes time. When plugged into a regular wall outlet, the Leaf takes 20 hours to fully charge, 4 to 8 hours in a 240 volt plug, and 30 minutes in a specialty charging station. And the Tesla Model 3 has similar charging times to the LEAF. The federal government says researchers are aiming to like develop that. the ability to recharge a 150 kilowatt battery in less than 15 minutes. Oh, they cut it out when I Public specialty it. charging locations in Regina yeah, and Saskatchewan that, isn't indicating any changes. Natural Resources Canada says Saskatchewan has no plans of installing more charging stations in the province, but it has said it will reassess if more electrical vehicles are purchased. Colton Wien, CTV News, Regina.